Hi everyone and welcome to our next video. We are now moving into the uh, inventory tab which is a herd uh, of your stores operation. So let's start with the first option, manage all inventory. So once uh, you click on this tab, as you can see on my screen, you will be taken to your main inventory dashboard. Uh, this page is uh, your command center for all your listings, both, uh, both those fulfilled by you and those handled by Amazon. So you can see a list to all uh, of your products along with their key details and product name sq and sn so you can also see the current price and the quantity of available units right so from here uh, you can perform many uh, actions to your listings by clicking these three dots uh, next to any uh, product you can edit the listing uh, adjust the price or manage your quantity. So this is the one uh, stop shop for everything related to your products stock. So now uh, let's uh, take a closer look at the manage selling fulfilled products dashboard. So this page is uh, your go to hub for all items. Uh, you ship directly to customers. Uh, the main part of the dashboard is the uh, product list where you can see all uh, your self-fulfilled items. Uh, you get a clear uh, and at a glance view of the important metrics like each product's product name, average, uh, selling price, and unit sold. This lit, uh, list help you to keep a pulse on how you uh, how your self-fulfillment items are performing fulfillment inside dashboard a powerful uh, tool from Amazon that gives you a detailed look into your shipping performance here uh, you get a clear picture of how well you are meeting delivery promises so the promise gaps, right? Uh, the first thing uh, you will see in this promise gap, which is uh, the difference between the delivery date you promise buyers and uh, the actual date they receive their package. As you can see here, package were delivered on average one for four calendar days ahead uh, of the promise. This gap is broken down into two parts, your handling time gap and the carrier transit time gap. The goal is to make uh, these promises uh, as accurate as possible to build customer trust and potentially increase sales. So below that, you will find the other uh, key metrics like promise extensions, right? So this shows uh, that Amazon sometimes extend a delivery promise by a small amount of prevent a late delivery is a way to keep uh, your on-time delivery uh, rate high and your account in good standing, right? So then we have a business our delivery rate, which is important for your business customers as you can see uh, the seller rate is 88 percent right so uh, which is below the target of uh, 95 percent the report uh, even shows a breakdown by carrier helping you to identify which carrier are performing best for business uh, deliveries so the most valuable part of this dashboard is insight and uh, recommendations, right? Uh, Amazon gives you specific actionable advices. Uh, here it recommends uh, enabling shipping uh, setting automation SSA 
this is a feature that automatically calculate accurate delivery days for you and which can shorten your delivery promises and lead to the more sales it also gives a, a clear recommendation based on the business our uh, delivery rate data so it suggests switching to carrier uh, with a higher performance rate the data shows the uh, fedex has a higher rate as you can see on my screen than usps so the, uh, the recommendation uh, is to consider using carriers like fedex to improve that metric and that's a quick look at the fulfillment inside dashboard it's uh, um, it's an invaluable tool for maintaining a healthy and high performing seller account so the next step is uh, handling time setting uh, as you can see my screen uh, handling time setting uh, your handling time is the amount of time it takes uh, uh, can I say it takes uh, you to pack and ship and order after a customer placing right it's a critical setting because it directly impacts the delivery promise a customer sees you can uh, adjust your handling time in your shipping setting you can set a default handling time for all your products on your uh, or you can even adjust the uh, handling time for individual products if some items require more time to prepare for uh, shipment setting and accurate handling time ensures that you are always meeting customer expectations for delivery so the next step is sell globally uh, when you are on the selling globally dashboard you will see a navigation menu on the left side this menu provides access to all the tools you need for uh, international selling as i can say this one uh, here you can see the dashboard we just uh, covered it's your starting point for seeing your global sales and launching into uh, new stores so understand the basics is a great place to uh, start if you are new on global selling this section provides educational content to help you to learn about international marketplaces taxes and other requirements so the next option is build international listings this is the main uh, tool you will use this is where you can link your different marketplaces together to automatically sync your product listings and inventory uh, to save your a lot of time and effort so the next step is find a provider this helps you to find third party services that can uh, assist you with things like international taxes uh, translation services or legal services so the next part is market product guidance this tab is a very useful tool for understanding the specific rules and regulations for your product in different countries which helps you to ensure you are compliant right so the next step is remote fulfillment with fpa uh, this is the program that allows you to sell products in an, another country like Canada by using your US inventory without having to ship your products to an FBA center uh, in that country. So the next step is uh, send Amazon UK and Europe. This is a streamlined workflow that helps you to create uh, and manage FBA shipments especially for Amazon uh, fulfillment centers in the UK and Europe it simplifies the process of getting your inventory overseas and that's a quick overview of sell globally navigation menu it provides uh, all the tools you need to expand your business internationally so now we talk we will talk about fulfillment by amazon first option is uh, the fba inventory this step is uh, highly recommended uh, from uh, the sellers and amazon uh, 
Amazon Seller Central. That gives you a high level of overview of your FBA business. This is where you can see summary of your sales, uh, inventory, health, and other key metrics. As you can see my screen, uh, these are all important uh, information for managing your FBA products. The next step is FBA inventory. <clears throat> this is uh, your go page for managing all the products you have sent to Amazon fulfillment centers. So you can see a list of every item uh, along with the SQ, ASIN and the current quantity in Amazon's warehouse. This is where you will track and monitor all your FBA stocks. So the next one is shipments the shipment page is uh, when you click on the shipment as you can see my screen the next one is shipment uh, when you click on the shipment page uh, shipment window will be open uh, here you can track all of the uh, inbound shipment to Amazon once uh, you create a shipment and send your boxes you can come here to monitor its progress you will see the status uh, from when it is in transit when it is delivered and received at the fulfillment amazon fulfillment centers so the next option is opportunities uh, under opportunities when you click on the opportunities section uh, Amazon provides you with the actionable recommendations uh, to improve your FBA business. It analyzes your sales data and suggests things like which uh, products you should restock, which listings could be improved, or how to manage your inventory to avoid storage fees. So the law, last option is analytics. When you go to the FBA analytics, when you click on that page, you will find uh, different tabs for a deeper dive into your data. So first is FBA sales, right? If you click on this one, FBA sales. So FBA sales uh, tab provides a comprehensive breakdown of your sales performance especially for your FBA products showing you your sales volume, revenue and trends over the time, right? So the next one is as you can see on my screen inventory, age uh, and access. This is a crucial tab for managing your cost. It helps you to identify uh, inventory that has been sitting in Amazon fulfillment centers for a long time, which could lead you to a long term storage fees. It also highlights any excess stock you can take action to sell it or remove it. So the next step is FBA grade and resell. The FBA grade and resale tab is designed to help you to manage uh, return or damage inventory. If a customer returns a product, you can use this tab to have Amazon inspect the item, determine its condition and provide options uh, to either have it shipped back to you or if uh, it is in good enough condition to resell as a used product. So the next and last step is uh, multi-channel fulfillment. The multi-channel fulfillment is the powerful feature that allows you to use Amazon fulfillment network to shop order uh, to ship orders from other sales channel like uh, your own website. This tab is. Uh, where you can view and manage all of those orders providing a centralized way to handle your fulfillment regardless of where the sales uh, is uh, orient uh, oriented.
so the inventory tab is optional core of your Amazon business mastering these tools gives you complete control over your products and set you up for success so thank you so much for watching